Hello everybody and welcome back to Forest River, North Dakota. As you can see here, we are in our first sunflower field, getting ready to start seeding. And if we look, we got Jim over in the versatile. Uh, he is on field 27 there, and then he's going to start on 26 after and then work his way down. And uh, we're going to start doing some planting here and uh, get our sunflowers put into the ground here. <clears throat> Perfect. Everything seems to be running pretty good, so that's always a plus. So, only a few more episodes uh, before we're done with spring planting. Um, I am going to do a lot of the seeding off of camera, just because it's going to be the same thing over and over. And uh, it'll get kind of boring, so I am going to do a lot of it off camera just to get it done. But uh, there will be a lot of it done on camera as well, so. We'll get our uh, headlands and stuff done here. And then uh, we'll jump on GPS and get her... Uh, finished up but we're gonna go around it twice here we are using a fair amount of fertilizer but not terrible I think uh, this load of fertilizer here will last us a little ways. Either way, we do have a fair amount of it uh, back at the farm, so we are definitely in no danger of running out. I'm just going to go right here to the end. There we go. We'll get uh, flipped around here. And then we'll flip our GPS line. Perfect. And off we go. We're actually using more seed than we are fertilizer, which is perfectly fine. It won't take us much to uh, run back down to the farm and throw another uh, two pallets of bags in here. So. This tractor is definitely getting a workout, though. It's getting uh, pretty used this spring. But it is quite the upgrade from our uh, previous spring lineup. Our entire operation is quite a step up, so can't really complain too much. Things are uh, starting to shape up for us, so that's always nice. I 
One downside to uh, our expansion this year is that is about all the more that uh, our current yard can handle. We could maybe expand a little bit more, but then we'd be going out into our hay field, which, uh, I mean, wouldn't be horrible because we could always pick up more hay ground, but uh, the yard's just kind of starting to get small. So hopefully uh, next year, or well, this year turns out to be really good for us as well and uh, we can hopefully purchase some property and at least get started on uh, building our own farm it might be a couple year process but we are going to get it done eventually so already seeded 11 acres or planted however you want to refer to it but we do have quite a uh, long road ahead of us here of um, spring work so I'll probably, uh, after this video, I'll finish up any uh, sunflower planting and rolling, and then we'll jump into the next month, and uh, we'll start doing some spraying and uh, things like that, so just to kind of keep a little bit of a variety so we're not doing the same thing for like two weeks and doing things that way also helps me speed up uh, process on the save game because then it allows for me to kind of run through things a little bit quicker Now, when we come to harvest season, then then we'll have a lot more video. But at least this season, we also have uh, haymaking to get done. So we're going to have a lot of work for uh, season two here. Or year two. I know it says year three there, but that's just because... Uh, when I started the save game, it started me in August, and I wanted to start from the beginning, so that's uh, what we did there. Because for whatever reason, the start in spring mod does not always actually start in spring on some maps. Actually, I think most maps, it's it starts you in August, but all the fields just reset to the uh, spring state where nothing is seeded. Then after this field, we can at least 
just jump right across the road. And then uh, we'll get that field knocked out. Take a look here at how. Uh, oops, Jim's making it, making his way. He's getting her done. Slowly but surely. Take a look here. So we're mainly around the eighty to one twenty area, which is all the more that uh, sunflowers want. So if that's what they want, then uh, that's what we're going to put down. See how uh, close the ridge marker is here. To uh, lining up with our GPS. Right on. That's always good, just in case we ever need uh, need to use it. Which we shouldn't, but hopefully we'll make a good amount of money off of these sunflowers here uh, this winter or spring, whenever we sell them. Let's take a look at that actually of when um, high time is February March area so February is uh, when we'll be selling them we'll have to once we're all done caught up planting um, and spraying, we'll have to go sit down with the co-op and uh, get some contracts put together for some stuff. Get uh, some of our crop contracted. I don't want to contract too terribly much and then all of a sudden we're short, but at least get some contracted. We can always make an additional contract when we know what we got in the bins. We want to get uh, things locked in. never hurts to uh, be a little I guess ahead of the game there's uh, definitely no harm in that so half of our seed already just on this field alone
Hopefully we'll have enough to finish this field. Hopefully we'll have enough seed to uh, finish off spring without having to go and uh, get more. At least if we do start to run low, we can always uh, throw any empty seed boxes on our flatbed and run them down to hefty and get them filled. But I think we should be all right, at least for a while. We still got uh, a fair amount of seed in the air seeder. And then, uh, whoa, we do have a fair amount of pallets and bags, so I think we'll uh, have enough for a while. Thirty acres already. Goodness, we're gonna have a lot of sunflowers, I think. Which is good. We should be able to get this field done in this uh, video here today. I think we got uh, two more, two, maybe three more passes left. I think about two. this field uh, taken care of. Let's take a look here. So we'll have another three fields to plant after we're done with uh, sunflowers. And then, oh, we missed an oats field. Okay. Oh yeah, we we're supposed to put oats in back there. Hmm. Okay. So that means that uh, when Jim's all caught up on the rolling, we're gonna have to, or maybe we, we might. Uh, well, I don't really want to pull all of the uh, monitors out of the versatile and hook this one up. So I guess. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, unhook the land roller and hook the drill up. Completely missed that one. That's all right. At least we haven't advanced at all. And actually, I'm debating here. We might actually put corn in that one. Have one more cornfield. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put corn in there instead. Because we could actually chop that field or something. Yeah, I kinda like that idea a little better. So I think we'll do that. We'll change that here once we uh, drop the planter down. Yeah, we're gonna do do corn on it instead.
Okay, let's change this here. Planned to corn. There we go. Yeah, let's do that, because with us chopping some corn, we're going to want uh, a little extra to be able to combine, so... Because we've got 24 and 25, and then... So these two and 39. So I think we'll chop all of field 39 or all of 43, one of the two, and then we'll combine the other three. Then we can try and get uh, a good amount of corn. Because I think what we're going to do for most of harvest is uh, we'll probably keep Jim in the combine and then we will um, run grain cart and trucks and then we can kind of manage where everything is going and then uh, we can make sure that everything gets Everything is kept track of correctly. All right, we're almost done with this one finally. Perfect. So let's get this folded up. We're going to put down this as being sunflowers and it was fertilized. Perfect. And we'll get this folded in and we'll move over to our next field. get ready to get going on that 39 acres on this field so excuse me good chunk there let's not take any signs out yeah so I think we're going to have a pretty decent amount of sunflowers because we got this field yet that's one more kind of larger field and then um, we got a couple of smaller fields but uh, still a fair amount so we'll probably have uh, I would say good probably 80 acres of uh, sunflowers in so shouldn't be too bad of an amount I need to shift that over just a hair to match up on this end. There we go. 
So we'll get this field uh, outlined, and then that'll probably be all for today. And uh, Jim is also almost done over there. So getting things done around here definitely helps to uh, have that extra help even if it is just one guy that, uh, that makes a big difference for us right now so It's always nice to have extra help. I will never, uh, never complain about that. Uh, before too long, we'll be running back to the farm for some more seed as well, so. Have to go get that done. Alright, well that is going to do it for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to check out the rest of this series. And uh, we'll catch you all in the next one.